Hi everyone, welcome for this new tutorial. So today we'll have a look on the new Surface Deform modifier. So here you can see Surface Deform. So the goal is to make a kind of simulation with uh, with a plane like that. And like this, the fish will follow and have a nice curvy, uh, curvy swimming like this like in the reality. So, and we still have the control with an armature that uh, like this we can still continue to use the armature to control, for example, uh, the mouse or other parts of the fish. So, let's start from the beginning and uh, for this I did prepare you a little file that you can use, that you can find, you can find this in the descriptions. Uh, of the video. So here I have the fish and here I have the armature. Uh, I For this fish I let you the texture you can see in material mode. We will just use solid mode to have something more convenient to work. And uh, the first goal will be to make a simulation with the plane like will be that will be a kind of flag actually and uh, for that we will just uh, be sure that if you use a fish, uh, a fish of yours that it will be uh, the center you see the origin point will be uh, near the neck here and the same for the armature origin point in object mode here will be the same okay I just uh, enable the screencast keys and let's go for it. So I will add a mesh plane and it's this mesh that will deform my fish later. So the first thing I will do is enter in edit mode with tab then do a rotation air y 90 degrees okay and then in the side view three on the pad with s and g i will just place my plane like like this and then with the g y like that for this part like this we have a big rectangle rectangular shape and uh, we want to subdivide it to can deform it. So uh, if I use, uh, if I select everything with A and subdivide it with W, subdivide, I will have uh, still rectangular shapes uh, subdivision. So me, I want squares that will make a better deformation. So with Control R, I will add here a loop cut. And like this, I have something more square in the subdivision. Uh, it it depends of uh, of the of the of the shape you have and for sure it will depend for some fishes it will be different. But for this fish it's a good case. So this subdivision will be okay. Uh, you can add more but it, it will slow down the simulation and I guess that um, that like that it will be uh, totally enough. So our first goal is done. Uh, second, we will increase the length of our simulation. So I will put 500 here and uh, I will do something else is to here I will put it in another layer and work only in that layer. So now we go to weight paint mode. The goal of it will be to make, make a kind of uh, gradient. Uh, this part will be totally red and this part will be totally blue. For that I will use the draw here, draw tool and put a strain near 0 0.1 let's say with a big here okay and I will add like that in a few clicks until I have something red so maybe put something 
stronger like this and uh, with a big big tool like that just add a kind of uh, nice smooth gradient something like that will not will not be that bad so we have we have this what we did when we when we create that is that we add a new group of vertex groups and uh, this group we can call it uh, already cloth because we will use it for a cloth simulation and uh, that we make uh, something like a flag so this part is red this part is blue and we have a kind of gradient between between two and it will be okay for that so I come back in object mode and I will go to my simulation panel here and go to cloth my preset will be silk because it's good to make a kind of flag simulation and I will use a pinning because if I start my simulation with Alt A now you can see that uh, all my geometry will go by the gravity and it's, what, it's not what I want so I will use the pinning and the pinning I will use the vertex group I did create and the vertex group the name is cloth and now if I use that so you see that only the the part of of the of the blue that we that we did paint is affected so this is what we want now I will uh, try to make something more like a flag in the wind so I will use some I will use some wind let's go and let's add a force field wind then we move it there with a air x 90 minus okay negative we will use place it just just in the beginning of the flag like that and with a strength of 10 and a noise of 10 okay it will be good like this now we can start to animate a little our flag because uh, I will remove the gravity and put it to zero like this where the flag is not uh, will not be deformed by the gravity only by his movement and the wind so if I launch my if I launch my simulation now I have absolutely nothing because no gravity and my flag is perfectly aligned with my wind what I what I want now is to uh, animate my flag so what I will do is just uh, go in top view so with 7 in numpad and I will make a rotation uh, I will keep uh, I will keep first and insert a key without any rotation so with okay and I go to the 20 here and make a rotation of 6 that's good I insert a key great I go in 40 and I make a rotation of negative 12 like this it's the other side and insert a rotation too and there's two frames that I did insert the key on it I will uh, duplicate these keys and for that the best is to go to animation here and select the two keys that the two last keys here so it's another representation of it but here you can select it and have a few operations on, on them and I will duplicate them and and for them to 20 uh, 40 sorry so shift D 40 okay and now shift R to repeat the operation until I go until 500 okay and now what's happening if I launch the simulation with alt A I have a nice curvy shape in the end of my plane like like a swim so very good for what we want and you can notice that when it goes after 250 
the simulation stops. Why? Because uh, I did increase here already. So what's happening? You just have to go. I come back to default, to default scene uh, interface. So you just have to the cross panel here and open cross cache and enter 500 in the end. And now it will continue the simulation until 500. Good. We have what we want on that. So now the goal will be to make our fish and our amateur follow. So our fish will be influenced by the armature and for that we select our fish then the armature so our fish orange armature in yellow and control P and we will make an armature deform okay it means that now if I go to pose mode with control tab into the armature I can deform my fish and animate it separately so this is good this is what we want and we want to uh, here so if you work with your own fish you will have this me I just have a mirror modifier to my fish to into my fish so something very simple and our amateur here and we will add a modifier that will be the surface deform the surface deform so will be uh, here but uh, if we make our surface deform and that our fish will not follow the rotation of it it will be a problem and what we want is to make our armature parented to this so I select my armature then the plane and control P and set parent to object and then after I just have to use my surface deform and select here with this and select a plane that will be the object that will deform my fish and I will put this surface modifier just before the armature the armature modifier okay so here and we start from the beginning and now nothing happened yet because we didn't bend the the we didn't bend the surface deform uh, I have a little delay so I do control Z yeah okay so this operation to make uh, to make uh, the the parenting so it has to be in the zero frame if if not you will have a kind of uh, delay and it will not be good so I make my parenting again set parent to object okay that's good and now I can add this there add this there and I just use build as I said and normally everything will follow so if we see only our if we see only our armature we see that the rotation follows okay because she's parented to the plane and we see that our fish follow too and with surface deform it works with this and what is good with this kind of uh, settings is that you can still use armature on it so it means that separately you can you can still add some animations like for example close the mouse or things like that so I will just make a simple animation on it so insert a key on the first frame on rotation okay and then go on the on the frame 10 and make it make a kind of rotation for that yeah. and control C, control shift V to have 
the same pose here in the other side okay and then just close the mouth okay let's say something like that and so here here and that I insert a key to of rotation same thing like before I go to animation panel select the two keys that I did inserted and shift D 20 and shift R until everything is filled okay good now what's happened I come back to my default here and you can see that everything is following so I still have my my deformation here and I still have the influence of the armature at this place so a really good setting to uh, to add a knife a nice curvy uh, swim to your uh, to your uh, fishes or it can work with snakes or other other things like that but with a fish it really uh, it's really a good uh, a good setting to have something realistic so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you did enjoy it and uh, see you later